Arson investigations in the city of Youngstown are always concerning. A house fire on East Myrtle Avenue this weekend was the city's 53rd arson this year and the fourth this month. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. I'm Lindsay Watson. After this weekend's fire, we wanted to know, is the problem getting worse? First News reporter Abigail Cloutier dug through the numbers. She's live with what she learned in this 27 Investigates report. Abby. Behind me, all that's left of this house on East Myrtle Avenue is some rubble and the remains of a front porch after it was set on fire Saturday. Crews were here all day cleaning up what was left of the house. On Saturday, the fire lit up the entire street and that house caught the house next door on fire as well. Fire investigator Kurt Wright tells me he has seen an increase on fires in the, on fires in the city's south side. There is a trend uh, that's been for the past several years, at least in my experience, uh, a high amount of fires are, are on the south side uh, as compared to other, other sides of town. Marva Dobbs has lived on Youngstown South Side her whole life and tells me the most recent arson worries her and her neighbors. So either it's arson or a person lighting a fire so they can stay warm. So yes, yeah, a big, uh, grave concern of mine. There have been 53 cases of arson this year so far, and about 20 of those were vacant homes. Last year, 77 fires were ruled arson. 27 of those were abandoned homes. Wright tells me arson has been decreasing in the city. I attribute a lot of that primarily to the increase in demolition uh, that the city has, has undertaken uh, and, and tore down a lot of these structures. Wright says he's in contact with the director of that demolition project every day, working to get abandoned homes at risk of arson torn down. Not every arson case is an abandoned home, like this one on October 12th on Logan Avenue. Earlier this year, an arson on Norwood Avenue at the same time as another fire stressed the department's resources. Three firefighters were injured. The Firefighters Union president tells me they have become very familiar with fires like these over the years, saying, quote, this experience has unfortunately come at a price with our firefighters' blood, sweat, and tears. Although it can be frustrating to see neighborhoods intentionally destroyed, it never takes away the main goal of our firefighters. Now, this arson is still under investigation, but just because arsons are down doesn't mean other service calls the fire department responds to aren't. Wright tells me that this year has been the most calls that he's ever seen. Live in Youngstown, Abigail Cloutier, WKBN 27 First News.